Welcome to Isabel Segunda. This is Casa Paloma, right here in the middle of town. Uh, you've probably seen this house here before. It's very well known because it has a huge, huge, bright pink bougainvillea outside and walls surrounding this little mini compound. And everybody's always curious to see what's behind it. So here's your sneak peek. There are two entrances to the house. One is uh, here into the garden area, which actually has a gorgeous pool, water feature. The pool pump's actually run by solar power, has a DC pump, the pump room right here. It's a great way to uh, save money on your electric bill here in Puerto Rico. So this one's already installed. Uh, the beautiful thing about it is it basically runs when there's any sort of sunlight. So from sunrise to sunset, your pool is being cleaned. Uh, and actually, I've even seen some of these work when the full moon is out. So they're very efficient, very smart. And as you can see, there's the bougainvillea. Very old bougainvillea, gorgeous. Palm trees around. Lots of gorgeous orchids too. They love to grow here on the palm trees. Uh, this here is also... Um, some uh, dragon fruit is what this is. Pitaya in Spanish. There's the bougainvillea. <laughs> and then a look back to the pool. And here's the house. We'll take a tour of the house right now. This uh, first floor, right here in the garden area, there's a nice little sitting area, dining area, entertaining space that's covered. So you can imagine sitting out here having a nice lunch or dinner, uh, entertaining with friends and family all in the pool. And as a reminder, we are right in the middle of Isabel Segunda. Um, it uh, really is nice and quiet here. Having this garden is a very nice feature. So from the garden area, you come into the kitchen. You can see the full kitchen here. Gas stove, dishwasher, and the fridge freezer. There is an AC unit in this room. There's a French door looking back out on the garden area. Here's the rest of the kitchen area. So room for sitting, entertaining. Uh, there is a, a bath here. The toilets that could be used for the folks at the pool or folks in the kitchen. Nice, decent space. I mentioned there's, there was another door. This is the other door that comes off the side street. So if you're bringing groceries in, easy access. You don't necessarily have to go to the garden. So if it's raining or something like that, it gives you quick access right into the kitchen. So there's uh, stairs going up to the second floor. We'll go there in a second. Here's the uh, another shot at the kitchen showing you going back out to the garden and the pool deck. Very relaxing space, very clean, and obviously eco-friendly with the uh, solar panel pumps. So uh, let's go upstairs. We're going to go up, uh, take the stairs up to the second floor and we'll uh, go see that level. Here we are on the second floor of Casa Paloma. Again, it's a big open rectangular shape. Uh, a lot of opportunities here for how you want to use this space. Uh, we'll start over here on this side. This has uh, currently set up as a, as a bedroom has a TV AC unit here, so this could be also set up as a, a reading area or a little media room. This floor, there is a full bath right here. Let's see the toilet. That's me on a pink shirt, hello. And then the, uh, another shower. So this floor, much like upstairs, as we'll see, has a, uh, a full bath. Over here is also the laundry unit, washer dryer, one over the top of the other. Very handy. That's looking back down the rectangular shaped floor. And then what's what I really like here is there's a uh, little outdoor screened in balcony area, a little porch. Um, currently be set up as a little workspace. Nice sitting area. From here you start seeing some of the ocean views out to the north, or actually out to the west. Nice views over the pool. Good breeze coming through here, you can see the flags moving. There's always a good breeze going in this house. That convection current here really helps. This uh, this used to be set up as a bedroom, now it's kind of set up as a uh, little meditation room. 
good space. You can see throughout this whole floor out here too, there's some nice, uh, nice tiling. And again, these windows um, overlook the pool. This is a nice little, this is actually a great little corner of the property, corner of the house. We've got the little balcony out here, screened in porch area, and then looking back at the, at the bedroom. So some good privacy for you and your guests. Back onto the main floor here, so the second floor. Again, another little sitting area. This is all area that you can kind of define yourself, a lot of, a lot of space to work with. Uh, current owner created a nice little book reading area. I imagine here is also a nice, great little area for day naps. And these windows go out onto the side street. So there's a lot of windows, a lot of breeze, a lot of cross current going through this property. Uh, and at the same time, three stories gives you lots of space and uh, also creates uh, a nice, nice peace and quiet, which is nice to have right here in town. And it's a surprise. I think everybody seems to think living here in town is going to be noisy, but it's not. And this is a great example of how that's, uh, how that's possible. So, all right, let's um, head on up to the third floor. All right, so here we are on the third floor. So these staircases are right on top of each other, uh, design-wise, in the same part of the building. Third floor, we have a uh, entrance up here to what's currently set up as an, an office area. There's some built-in desk here. So if you're looking to work from home, you've got a nice office up here with a good breeze and good views. There's a closet here as well. Some windows here. I'll show you in a second because show what the view is because actually there is a a balcony up here so the balcony up here on the third floor on the uh, side street uh, very windy very breezy what I noticed with this house is when all the windows are open because it is a three-story home you get a nice convection current that's flowing through the house so any warm air in the house pops up comes out up here upstairs on the top floor so there's always a breeze in the house. As you can see, that's the uh, famous fort in Isabel Segunda. Over down the street is the famous Seba tree over by El Sombrero Viejo. Uh, in the distance, you can see the Catholic Church, which is on the plaza. So really from here, you're one, <coughs> excuse me, one of the two blocks of the post office to uh, the yellow uh, Timmy's Corner Grocery Store. So it really is, even though we're a small little town, you do have city living style here. Can walk to all the, the stores, the restaurants, groceries, anything you need. Uh, there's really no need for a car. Looking out over here, you can see the Bogan Villa. Gives you gives you a little perspective on where we are in the house. There's a famous Bogan Villa in the corner of the property. All right, third floor. Again, here's the the office desk area. There is a cute little bedroom up here, or sitting room. Uh, it doesn't have a closet, so I don't know if technically you can call it a bedroom, but there is enough room for a day bed here. Some nice artwork on the walls. And this also has, let me see if this is unlocked. This also has its own little, little balcony terrace area. And there you can see it overlooks the pool down below. Over there as well from here, you can actually see the uh, Caribbean Sea. Um, it's a very cloudy day today, a little hazy, uh, but normally you'd be able to see mainland Puerto Rico and uh, as well as seeing the ferry coming and going from Isabel Segunda over to Ceiba. All right, so also here on this third floor, up oh, some more artwork. I don't know if you saw that before. Third floor is what I consider the master bedroom, which is on the back side of the house here. So there is a bed closet, the length mirror, some windows that let in light from the east, let in the breeze, and then there's a full bath as well. So you go to shower on one side with ocean views and then the toilet sink on the other. Again, there's your views out towards the ferry and the ocean. And also over here by the bed, there's French doors. Uh, the door's locked but I'll give you a little view there. There's another, another little patio, a little balcony area that leads out 
overlooks the uh, pool, uh, gives you your ocean, ocean view. And I think also architecture, this is an area that you might be able to capture. If you're not gonna use that outdoor space, you might actually be able to include that in this upper floor here to increase the size of this, uh, this master bedroom. Also from here, there is a flat roof, as you can see throughout the property here. Uh, people that have walked through the property have actually talked about accessing the roof. Uh, I think one, probably this little patio outside might be able to do a spiral staircase to the roof or in the spirit of the stairs that are already in place since you have the floors from the first to second and second to third kind of on top of each other uh, that perhaps right here you could do stairs, take out the wood desk and do stairs up to the roof. So a lot of opportunities. Uh, great little building, uh, right in the middle of town, uh, great privacy, great breezes, uh, and at the same time, you're very close to everything that Isabel Saguna has to offer. So let us know if you're interested.